Chinese Kit Time, GY19486. Uh, a little PC board. Let's put it onto a tray. What do we got? Ah, that one doesn't want to go. It's unwilling. All right. Oh, two big, two big LED displays. Very nice. So I think this is a voltage and current display. And at the same time. All right. Um, now it does have some surface mount parts. Uh, it has um, two surface mount ICs and one surface mount voltage regulator, I believe. So we should get those going first. I'll put some solder paste down and put it in the oven. Get that going. So before I do service mount, I like to clean the pads with some alcohol. In case there's any oil or any kind of residue on them. Um, so let's uh, let's be brave and not even use a microscope. It's amazing how you really don't need to be very accurate. It's more important to have the right amount, not necessarily in the right place, because it kind of flows all around and the surface tension will grab things and put them in the right spots. Famous last words. And you can always retouch it later. That one just needs a little more on the end there. All right, put a big blob here. And a couple good sized blobs on these guys. All right. Let me find some tweezers. Pretty good. Now there's two different ICs and they're the same package. So we need to figure out which one is which. All right. Get a magnifying glass out. What is this one? Oops. Wow, those are hard to read. This one is a 74HC138. 138. That is IC3. All right. IC3 is this one. These layout pads are not really good sized. Uh, 
and I must have mushed the voltage regulator up there when I was reaching around. Do you watch me do that? Did I do that? Did I do that? I don't think so. I think you guys did that. All right, let's uh, let's put that in the oven and uh, see how it comes out. Yeah, it's going to need some rework. I see a bridge here, and maybe it needs a little bit of solder there. But for the most part, it looks okay. So let's uh, go ahead and put on some other parts before we rework it. Got one diode here. And got some capacitors. These are all the same value. I don't see it. Oh. This guy on. Let's slide these down. The leads seem to be getting thinner and thinner and thinner as time goes by. So I assume the two adjustments are voltage and current, so you can calibrate it. Usually you have to set the gain, so. All right. This is a 0.33 ohms. That's to uh, watch the current. RP1, yeah, 0.33. And R2 is 200 ohms. Huh. What J2 is. A little pad here marked J2. Oh, J3, J4, I don't know. Don't know what those are. Hey, 
Yeah, there's a little solder bridge, two little solder bridges here, HP. Hmm. I don't know. I don't have a schematic for this. Just have the uh, parts list, so we will have to figure it out. Can't be that complicated, right? This kit is an interesting mix of through hole and surface mount. Right, comes with a little header plus the A ground. Didn't come with a cable though. Interestingly, maybe I'll leave that off. Then. If it didn't come with a cable, I'll leave that connector off for now. Should have cleaned that up before I put those on. Give me a little more working room. Ah! Oh, now I gotta reach in there. There we go. It's a little solder bridge there. And let me take a look with the magnifying glass. And a solder bridge over here. not soldered I don't think. I think I need to put some solder in one of these pins. That one right there. Yep. That'll look good now. Alright, should we turn this thing on? What do you think it is? Five volts? What is I think that's a five volt regulator. Let's see. Yeah, it's a five volt regulator, so we probably need seven volts going in. Rule of thumb is kind of like two volts more than two volts more than. Is 
Is that gonna... Maybe I should put some pins in here so I can grab it. Nothing to light up. That's not good. That's not good. There's all these little jumpers on the back though. That's what makes me nervous. Why are these little jumpers on the back? Let's see, this one plus goes here, 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 here. It's a diode drop and then five volts. And then What are these two? Power and ground. And there's a ground that goes to that thing. What is that thing? What's the... Uh, I don't know. I think uh, I'll need to steer at this for a second try to figure out what jumpers are missing and what aren't. All right. Um, let's see. There seemed to be maybe a, a solder joint that wasn't right down on this IC. I, I've touched up all of those. And then um, the power comes in. You can either bring the power in on this connector or the power can come on this plus here. And then there's a jumper on the back that jumpers the whatever voltage you're putting into it also to measure its own volts. So it's measuring its own volts input. Now I'm inputting 8.14, so... Let's see if we can't uh, we can't adjust that. This one adjust anything? How about this one? There we go. Eight point one five. What do I have? Eight point one four. Oops. A little bit touchy. Uh, let me get a different screwdriver. One five, one zero. <laughs> yeah, it's real touchy. It's real touchy. Uh, close enough. <laughs> close enough. And then there's a segment out <laughs> on my uh, on my other display. So let's let's try the input here. Let me go up to. Uh, this is eight point six volts. <laughs> eight point seven volts. Okay, let's take it down to seven point seven. And it's measuring. Yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> it's, uh, eight, yeah, it's not working. It's not working. I'm inputting 8.7. Wow. This must be for the amps. Oh, well. I say this project's a fail. Uh, yeah, this project's a fail. Too bad. Um, oh, well. <laughs> sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Jeez, there we go. Ah, look at that. Oh, 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 I'm burning up something. Too many amps. <laughs> really? It's only 500 ohms. Oh, well. <laughs> Smoke. Oh, well. This, this project's a big fail. <laughs>